Hello, H2Hos and rollerbladers alike. Welcome back to Don't Fund Me. I'm your guide, Q, and today we're going to be looking at a couple projects based around the company doTERRA. If you're not familiar with doTERRA, they sell essential oils, which are supposed to treat all sorts of ailments, and they are an MLM or a multi-level marketing company. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's a company where they have, like, salespeople, just regular old people that are supposed to sell these products to their friends or family, people that they meet out there in the world. But the most lucrative way to be successful at any of these companies is to recruit people beneath you so that you can make commissions off of their sales in addition to your own sales. So it's sort of pyramid scheme ish but it's technically not that, but that just gives you a general idea of what an MLM is and what doTERRA is. Let's get into this project, Eat a Rainbow in Uganda by doTERRA. Like, what the heck is that title? Just a heads up, this project is pretty poorly written, and it's also going to be a roller coaster of seeming like an awesome some cause, but then also being sketchy. I'm raising money to help Trevor Okello, who runs Save Orphans Aid Project SOAP, supporting orphans and children's orphanages in Uganda, provide and create employment pathways and opportunity for children when they're 18 to be able to create healthy lifestyles. At present, the children are in need of clothes, shoes, and other supplies, which SOAP support also and mostly. So, so far, it seems really good. I like to support kids in need of clothes, shoes, and other supplies, but let's continue here because it just starts unraveling and continues to be poorly written. We are hoping Trevor Okello can sell doTERRA products from his own business. This campaign will provide to fund the children's needs as well as create employment pathways for the children when they are 18 years old and leaving the orphanages or homes wherever they may be. This would mean they would have hope of working, thriving, and living a healthy lifestyle rather than one of poverty and hardship. They would have the opportunity to become self-employed and independent. Please help me in quotations for some reason end world poverty by helping me help Trevor buy his own doTERRA business dedicated to helping the children supported by soap learn how to fish and feed themselves for a lifetime rather than just giving them a fish or relying on charity. So we don't really need to read the rest of this because one, it's making me angry, and two, it's pretty much just reiterating how great of a company doTERRA is and how this business opportunity is going to allow all of these orphans to have employment and make their own money and be successful people on their own without having to constantly receive charity, which is understandable. That makes sense. Until you think about it for like more than five seconds, and then it doesn't make any sense at all. She says at the end here, we rise by lifting others, and oh, isn't that so true in this situation? because what she isn't telling you is that she's going to be making a commission off of every sale that Trevor makes and if Trevor is able to be successful with doTERRA and recruit people underneath him which she hopes will happen because she's trying to create employment opportunities for these orphans she's going to be making commission off of every sale that they make as well so if this Uganda project goes well for her and she is able to employ all of these people she's going to be making money every single step along the way and I would be fine with all of this. I'd be fine with this woman making money off of this project if I thought that doTERRA was actually a good business opportunity for Trevor and all these orphans, but I don't think it is. I think it's a horrible idea to try and sell essential oils in Uganda. Not that Uganda's like a horrendous economy, but like if these kids are struggling and they're in an orphanage, I'm going to guess maybe some of the people around them as well are struggling. And this is an unnecessary product that is expensive. Like essential oils are not cheap whatsoever they're gonna tell you that they're gonna fix all these ailments you have but I personally don't believe those claims and I think there's a lot of sketchiness to most of their products like diffusing an essential oil in the air is it really gonna fix your arthritis like is it really gonna make you not be depressed anymore all of these claims are kind of extreme and I don't want to get into how shitty of a business doTERRA is and how sketchy essential oils are fully but it is not a good idea for Uganda I don't think it's going to be easy to sell essential oils to people that don't have very much money. People have a hard time being successful in MLMs like doTERRA in the United States of America. Like, it's hard to sell these products to your friends and family. Like, imagine being a salesperson that's selling essential oils to your family and friends, and you have to hit them up on Facebook and be like, hey, do you want to be part of this business opportunity that's done so many amazing things for me? I know that it could change your life. And it's like, how are you going to do this same thing in fucking Uganda where people have much less disposable income? It's just, I don't like it. And then there's this project, help us send doTERRA to the Arctic, and it might actually be more predatory than the last one we just looked at. 
First off, it utilizes the faces of these two adorable children with bad skin conditions to promote why these northern Canadians need essential oils and the essential oil business in their lives. Let's take a look at some of the finer details of this project. If there's one nice thing about this project, at least it's more properly written than the last one. For those of you who don't know, many of Canada's northernmost communities are in crisis, and they have been in crisis for almost 50 years. Cut off from the rest of the country, supplies are scarce, food is of poor nutritional quality, and very, very expensive. Fruits and vegetables are often rotten before they reach these communities. Medicine is in short supply. There is no doctor or hospital. The issue that we are dealing with here stems from a government program to settle and relocate these traditionally nomadic Inuit peoples into villages. This has created generation after generation that no longer have traditional skills or knowledge about how to live and thrive in the harsh environment of the Arctic. It has created generations of people who now rely on processed food and processed medicine at great cost to their health. Processed medicine, you say? You mean like modern medicine? The stuff that keeps people alive until a hundred years old? I can see you shitting on processed food like that stuff is no good, it's not great for you, but keep giving me the processed medicine, please. I'd like to stay alive here. With Operation Oils to the Arctic, we are asking people to support us in supplying these most northern communities, beginning with the Salowit, with the tools they need to help them with everyday common complaints in their wellness. It is our fundamental belief that this small act of bringing oils to their community, teaching them to teach others, is an act of radical love, that it will begin to alleviate even the smallest amount of discomfort in these communities and facilitate the deeper healing and health that is their birthright. Through this site, we are collecting donations to build our four-pronged approach to this huge problem. One, we are shipping some short-term packages to some select families in the community to allow them to begin with the oils to see some relief of their complaints and issues. Two, we are collecting oils as well as oil supplies, literature, books, carrier oils, especially jojoba and rose hip oil, as well as financial support through our partners to help with the third part of our plan. Three, we are traveling to Salowit to deliver the supplies and to spend time there educating key community members about how to care for one another using oils and oil protocols. We are currently building our travel team. If you'd like to inquire about this, please contact us here. Four, we will revisit and remain connected to this program. We envision a nonprofit built in collaboration with the people of Salowit and beyond that will manage the oils education and distribution of oils to those communities that need them. Yours in power, Michelle and Lisa, doTERRA Wellness Advocates. Okay, before we rip this thing apart, uh, yours in power, have you guys ever heard that as a sign-off before? I personally haven't. Let me know if there's a situation in which yours in power is a proper sign-off for a letter or a statement like this. Personally, after reading this, I think at best these are two people who are just a little bit over-enthusiastic and either in denial or being dishonest about the effects of essential oils on skin conditions and other aspects of your health. Because there's just so much sketchy about this. I mean, you say this yourself that they have issues with not having enough good food, not having fresh food for these people, no adequate health care for these people, and one, essential oil is not going to help with food whatsoever. People cannot eat essential oils. It's not going to help feed these starving people. And two, even though you might be able to argue that essential oils can have some positive impact on your health, they are in no way an actual replacement for real medical treatment and actual medicine. So right off the bat, you're not actually solving the two biggest problems that you say these northern Canadians are dealing with. So what is the point of spreading oils to the Arctic? Are you just solving minor medical problems? It doesn't have anything to do with making doTERRA look good or making you, Michelle and Lisa, look good as people. I personally think this is a great example of cause marketing, and cause marketing is when a company will attach itself to some sort of charitable cause in order to create good PR for the company and help out some people in the process. And this is really a win-win for both Michelle and Lisa and doTERRA because they get to say that they're spreading this positive impact to these northern Canadian communities, and none of that money has to come out of their pockets because you're paying for it. doTERRA isn't doing charity here. Michelle and Lisa are not doing charity charity here. They might be organizing it, but you're actually paying for it to happen. And I don't know what the extent of all of this is. They say they're trying to set up a non-profit, but I'm not sure if they'll actually do that. When they talk about the distribution of oils, who's going to be doing that? Are they going to be trying to enlist distributors underneath them in northern Canada in order to spread these oils as far as they can and spread that positive impact?
And I truly do not know about that. They might be trying to set up a nonprofit, and all of this is above board and they're not going to make any money off of it. But I do know that they're using your $7,500 to buy products from the bigger doTERRA company and spread it to these people in northern Canada. And I just really don't think that's the most effective use of this money to help those people. How about setting something up to get these people fresh food? How about setting something up to get these people actual medicine? It just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, let me know if you guys see anything sketchy about this or if you think it's just people trying to do actual charity they did post some updates on their website and their facebook page so let's check out what they say the effects of the essential oils on these skin conditions were so they do post the results here after four days of using doTERRA essential oils and i'm not an expert on skin conditions or anything i do notice a difference but it does look as though scabs could have just been picked off they don't show us any proof that essential oils were used they don't even list the exact essential oils that were used to have this effect and it's just not super convincing evidence to me but i went to oils to the arctic.org to find out more information and this is what i found so their about page was pretty much the exact same thing as what was on the gofundme description and they say that this is the stuff that they need the most on their wish list and it's all essential oils doTERRA products they need extra supplements everything that is being bought here is from doTERRA and they want you to donate the products for some reason they don't even want you to donate money they just want you to buy doTERRA products and donate them to this cause very very strange strategy here their how to donate section allows you to donate doTERRA products in two ways you can use LRP points which I'm pretty sure you earn by selling doTERRA products or buying doTERRA products yourself you can just straight up donate the doTERRA products or you can support the GoFundMe and one of the most interesting things to me here is on their wish list page they say we are beyond grateful for the outpouring of support we've received and they only raised $150 on the GoFundMe and when you click on their our supporters page it's a broken image link and our thanks to our rock stars these three people so they've only had three people donate and for some reason they see that as an outpouring of support I mean that is good support but I wouldn't uh, consider it an outpouring and I don't know, maybe I just fell down a rabbit hole here. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree, but it just doesn't seem like they're trying to support these people in the right way. It seems to be just an advertisement for doTERRA. Why is there no way to donate food to these people? Why is there no way to donate actual medicine to these people through your cause? Why is it exclusively doTERRA products or money to buy doTERRA products? It just doesn't feel right. And uh, sorry that this was an extra ranty video, but I just always get so upset when I see these people pretending to be like charitable and good. I don't know. Maybe they actually think that they're doing a good thing in some capacity, but I don't think they're doing it in an efficient way. And I don't think the essential oils are going to have the impact that they think they will. So skate on rollerbladers. I hope that you stay skeptical. I hope that you're careful out there and you use your common sense. Make sure you're drinking more water. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you tomorrow.